What's going on everybody? I am going to show you something that's pretty cool from a company called Story Loop. If you use any type of church presentation software, uh, whether it's ProPresenter, Free Show, um, anything like that that you need a background for, I have found something that is pretty cool. And I went to Story Loop, and if you go there, you go to the bottom left and select freebies. Uh, and from there, you'll get to see all the different freebie options that they have. Um, and these can be uh, backdrops. And so some of them are, like, I'm going to look at this one right here. I like the way that feels. It's got like a little forest mountain vibe to it. All I do is, well, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see this option that says included in this pack. And it's 15 motion graphics with these different colors. And you can hover over them and you can see exactly what it looks like. And it's kind of like a drone shot, I guess, with rich colors in it. So it's kind of cool. And then they got this default timer. It's just a video. Uh, this is a little five minute, 10 seconds. So that's there. And then they also have the steals from those. And then they also have some titles. So I'm going to download this entire thing. I like the feel of it. So I'm going to select download. It asks you what way do you want to get it in full pack, 4K, um, ultra wide, ultra wide 720 HD. So you can do 4K or HD depending on what you uh have your ministry, but if you have an ultra wide screen, then you might want to get one of the other ones there. Uh, if you select subcategory, you can pick which ones you want. Um, so you can say the countdown if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to just say the full pack and then I'll select download. And you see at the top there, it starts to download. Now, the thing that I like about this is that you can use this even if you're using something like Free Show, which is what I like to use for um, my presentation software. And so the cool thing that it does, it allows you to bring these into Free Show once you download them, obviously. Uh, and they're not small files. A lot of them are pretty big uh, and robust files, which adds to the quality of it. And I just want to show you guys how they um, work with Free Show and if you'd be interested in getting them, feel free to go check it out. I'm not connected with them in any way. I actually ran across this and I just felt like it was important to share with you all so you can know as well. This is a freebie list, but they also have unlimited downloads for $35 a month. So if you're looking to always have access to download more and more things, you can get a $35 a month con uh, you know, agreement with them, a uh, subscription that allows you to do that. And you can dive into the full story loop library. And it seems like they've got all kinds of different things um, in terms of Photoshop files and all that kind of stuff that you can use uh, for yourself, for your ministry, for your business, whatever it is that you need it for. So check it out when you get time. I'm going to let this download and I'm going to show you what it looks like back into Free Show. All right. So I've got them downloaded. It's the Arborist pack. So I can double click that. It's a zip file on a Windows. I mean, a Mac computer, you just double click it on a Windows computer. I think you got to right click and unzip. Um, and now it is doing some work. It's unzipping down here. You can see getting ready to be used and turn into just a regular folder. All right. And I've got the titles. You can see on that. If I right click our space bar says, see you next week. So let me go through all these. So you can see the welcome offering prayer, kids dismissal, going peace, communion, baptism, all these different types of PNG file text. So these you cannot edit. They're just an image uh, with just the words. And then we got stills that are just the, uh, the graphics that we talked about already. And then we got motions. This is the one that I want to see. So if I click on this one, you'll see that one there. And it's kind of like a graphic. I don't think they're real drone shots. I think it's just some type of... Uh, digitally uh, created asset and this one's a minute and 26 seconds long and so there's that and they got all different kinds of those that we saw earlier and so i'm going to make a folder for these and let's see here we'll put these into my movies folder and i got one called free show backdrops already and i'm going to put these all in there Let's drag that in. <clears throat> All right. So now when you go into free show, you'll be able to go into your media bin 
And then you would say new folder if you have if you don't have a place where you put your files already, but I already have mine into my free show story loop background uh, deal here. So I've got them already set. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my template to be uh, let's go to this song and we'll do this song here and I'll do it as let's do song backgrounds. We'll do just a bold one. All right, and so this is actively the backdrop, but I'm gonna go to my media and I'm gonna put in one of those new ones. So we'll put in this one here. I'm gonna drag that in. And you can see that it's a minute, 46 seconds long. So now when I click on the show, it looks like that. And so there's this subtle movement to it that I like, and you can go through your slides. I've got my text really big. You can make yours smaller if you wanted to. Um, and it just looks clean. So if I go to templates, I can make my text a little bit smaller. Let's see here. Let's do the default bold. So that makes it a little bit smaller. You can see a little bit more of that backdrop. When you got something like this, it's helpful to have it visible um, to be a little bit have your text not consume the entirety of it. So I like the way that feels. And hopefully you do too. This is Story Loops. Um, I think it's yeah, Story Loops. Dot com. So check it out. I'm not sponsored by them. They're not sponsored by me. I just ran across it and thought it might be helpful for you. Feel free to check them out and hopefully you can find some good stuff that you might like to use for your ministry as well. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope it helped you in a major way. Now, at this point, most people would ask you to like and subscribe. And I think that's great. But my goal is a little bit different. My goal is to empower as many people as possible all over the globe. And there's one way that you can really help me do that. And that is to leave a comment below with a question, a thought, uh, how this video may have helped you or things that were left out that you still have questions about and to share this video with someone just like you, someone who is looking for answers, someone who's curious and wants to grow. With your help, I believe we can build a community of people that wanna to grow together. So until next time, God bless.